Midnight forgets confusion and has psychic. Fantastic, now I'm ready to continue with the story. I guess I'm going back to the Snagum hideout, actually. I will move my team around first. Oh, it looks so smug. Another email, bloody hell, what is it now? Hi, this is Pit in the Under, got some more news about the Snagum hideout. There's a rumor person you creepy smuggle. Oh, sorry, I think it's worth checking out. What? I mean, I understood, but... What do you mean, there is a rumour about them? Oh, right. They're at the Snagum hideout, okay. He didn't actually convey that information in the email. So I'm here to check up on Snag Machines and steal Pokemon. And I'm not quite out of Snag Machines yet. And, oh, this way. Hello, Cloak. There you are, you spies. This time you're not getting away. This, yeah, it's got to be just another run with more people whose shadow Pokemon I didn't catch the first time. But I did, so... Welp. Time to try out my new Psychic. And hopefully Midnight has the stats to use this. He does. Fantastic. Probably helps that he's, like, I don't know, ten levels higher. Nah, you're too strong to be a spy. Yeah, because spies are universally weak people. I, uh, well, I mean, I suppose the only other spy they could possibly have met is Silver. <laughs> so yeah, with that baseline. Hello. Oh no, not... Oh, fuck's sake, Niver again. Oh, Summer Sun leveled up. But he did manage to knock out Midnight, which is irritating us now. Gotta go and heal him. You know, Niver, I'm not going to speak to you anymore if you're going to attack me every time I do. Oh, what now? It's that reckless little boy. Baylor? Uh, the name rings a bell. Huh? I lost again? Why? Why? Maybe it's because you jump someone when he's on the way to Bloody Heal and he doesn't have time. Oh, she's gone. Oh. <laughs> well, this is awkward. Uh... Hi, Gonzap. Gah! Pretty brazen for a traitor to come stumbling back, eh, Garen? Also, do, do you know what happened to my rare candies? Oh yeah, Niver took them. I got careless back at Real Gam Tower, but this is the Snagum hideout. We might be shattered, but this is my home turf. Technically, it's mine too. This is where I make my stand. I can't lose. Sure, whatever. Bring it on, Gonzap. Okay, his level's a little bit higher than mine. Psychic. This is a sort of a boss battle, I guess, so I think I'll stick, uh, like keep this one in. Earthquake, that's why I paired Spring Rain up with Thingy. Ah, oh, damn it, if he hadn't reduced my attack, then this would be a lot more effective. Or a bit more effective. Okay, a tiny bit more effective. Okay, it might not be any more effective. Hyper Beam? It's going to hit Midnight. Because for some reason they always attack Midnight. I don't know why. Dawn... I need you to take out that Machamp. Not that it has a lot of health left, but although this does mean I can't use Earthquake again. Well, Machamp down. Armaldo. Armaldo's a tricky one. I suppose um, Earthquake would work for that. Or is... I think Earth might be... Sorry, Ground might be bad against Bug. I suppose Surf could work. Let's not let that Gramble use Hyper Beam again. Good work. And Dawn leveled up. Means he, uh, he's a higher level than Dusk again. And I don't imagine this will do a lot more. Oh no, just one more of those and Armaldo's pretty much dealt with. But it also has Hyper Beam. Shitting hell. Dawn, I would like to replace you with High Noon. Because High Noon might have a chance at doing some decent damage to Crawdaunt, I don't know. And our Meldo is dealt with. Thank you very much. Spring Rain. See, I see my team as having three good Pokemon and three bad Pokemon. But Spring Rain is... Uh, I suppose he's sort of between them. So it's three good, uh, one okay, and two bad. And I bet you can probably guess without me having to tell you which is which. 
Come on, High Noon. Giga Drain. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. It should heal the damage he took. Very nice. Oh, goody, another fucking Hyper Beam. Gone Zap, seriously. This is getting... This is getting ridiculous, man. And now this is a bit of a gamble. I don't know if Ice Beam will do enough damage to make it worth using. Oh yeah, it does. And Breloom will be recharging, and Crawdon's going to knock out High Noon. <sighs> At least they'll both be recharging next turn. Summer Sun. Just because he's a lower level than uh, Dusk. And can use Brick Break to finish off Crawdaunt. Wow, this is a bit of an ironic turn, isn't it? My Fire Pokemon knocked out his Water type, and my Water type knocked out his Grass type. And his last one is Gyarados, who almost certainly is going to use fucking Hyper Beam. Ooh, no, he used X Attack to buff his Hyper Beam before he uses it. And Dusk, I want you out because you and Spring Rain are my tankiest. And also, I think it's really silly to have a water, uh, fire type out just in case Gyarados has a single water attack. Dragon Dance. Oh god, he's really buffing himself up. That looked less like a dance and more like a seizure. Nope, Ice Beam was no more effective than Slam. Stick with Slam then. Shocker, Hyper Beam. I totally didn't see this coming for the last two fucking turns. Yeah, that makes sense. He buffed it right up. Of course, it knocked him out in one. But that does give me two turns to knock him out. Uh, Alright, I suppose one turn. As he is apparently faster than Dawn, but that's alright, Dawn is mu much more powerful than him. <sighs> Gaga, you've grown more powerful! I'm certain that wasn't his voice, but I don't remember it. The way things are, I won't give you the satisfaction of asking why you blew up the hideout and abandoned Team Snagum. But you remember this, so long as I breathe, Team Snagum will rise from the shadows again. And with it will come your downfall. Live in fear, Gwaha! Hmm. It's never explained, is it? It's just absolutely never really addressed why he did it. D-Disc. Oh, I don't want to look at Con Gonzap's D-Disc. You know what a D-Disc is, right? Full of D-Picks. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. I thought, yeah, I can go and heal. There won't be a third random douchebag here. I'm healed? I didn't even check. Wow. I Gonzap completely healed me after I beat him. That was weirdly nice of him. Yay, Dusk is back up to 61. Well, rather back up to level with Dawn. I shouldn't have battled after all. You shouldn't ambush a guy when he's on his way to heal. Especially when he apparently doesn't need to heal. Didn't need to. Oh, he's gone. Oh. Bayleaf has Miracle Seed and Croconaw has Mystic Water. And he's got a nugget and he's got a metal coat. Alright, I'm going to steal these items. I kind of like the way this is done, the way that just almost a random Pokemon of that type has the uh, the stat boost for it. Where was I? Oh yeah, searching for an Ursa Ring and a Smeargle. Oh well, you're blocking my way, so I'm assuming you're one of them. Oh my my, tell me, it's not you again. No, you're not one of them? Lonia, have we met? What do you mean? It was the most traumatic event of my life. Uh, sorry, I don't know you. Ah, oh, Spring Rain leveled up. Cool. What is it about you that makes you so strong? Uh, my Pokemon, my personality, my will, that weird uh, white line across my f Oh, she's gone as well. Hello, I'm looking for a Smurgle. I know you don't have it. I've already beaten you. I'm not going to make the same mistake as I did with Niver. Hello? Oh. Shit. I really like Ice Beam as an, as an attack. I don't know, just something about it I just... I really like. I much prefer it to Aurora Beam. Even though Aurora Beam should be the cooler move, it being based on the Aurora. Not that, you know, the Aurora is itself... 
No, not that the aurora is itself at all ice, it's just light refraction, isn't it? I will give you the miracle seed. May your grass attacks be less shit. Oh, hello. Yeah, if it isn't Garen, you got got showing up here after betraying Team Snagum and killing a load of people. This is where it ends. I know you're here to wreck the snag machine like before. Biden. Well, at least he isn't a hunter trainer type. Lol. I bet he's got the smeggle. Come on, High Noon, show me what that seed can do. Alright, that's not too bad, but you are six levels higher than it. Wouldn't it be really funny if he turned around and was the one to have the Ursa Ring? I don't know, I just, I kind of like that if that was the case. I remember the one time I used a Smeargle. I read that it could have any four moves, you know, you just use it after someone uses a move. So, uh, I managed to get, um, Confuse Ray off a of Golbat. Oh, Damn. Could have impressed me. Could have made me be like, oh, that's interesting, but no. Just a Smeargle. Does Smeargle always have that paw print on the back? I don't recall it. Put the bugger to sleep. And then slowly whittle it down with Swift. Okay, that whittled it down considerably more. I'm just going to start throwing balls at it. Balls away. Catch it, 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 catch it. Damn. Oh, it was so close too. Catch it, 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 catch it. Yeah, I got it. Suggestions for Smiggle? I couldn't win. Kaboom. Yeah, that's what, that's what happened. So many people died. Ah, the greatest rush. I was gonna knock you out and then paint your loser face with my Smeargle, but you stole my Smeargle, and I ended up on the receiving end of the paint. Oh, that's not paint. So what am I smashing? Oh. So it's Garen. I'm guessing you were drawn here by rumors of the snag machine. Did you really think we could fix it? Are you that gullible? It was all an elaborate trap of my master Gonzap to sucker you into coming. Well, the joke's too obvious, I'm not gonna do it. Wow, he's got glasses. Agrav? Oh yeah, you're the one with the nose and the glasses. That's really quite hurtful to know me only by a physical attribute. When I joined, didn't you call me white line guy face? White line guy face. That's a ring. Hello. Wait, uh, this is this a shadow Ursa ring? Oh, I, how I yeah, I knew I knew about that. I'll be honest. Put the big hairy bugger to sleep. I kind of like Ursa ring. I've never used it because I don't know. There, you get it so late in Gen two, and there always seem to be more interesting Pokemon around. But Teddy Ursa and Ursa ring are a a line that I do like, and I think I will try and use them in a future playthrough of Gen 2. High Noon leveled up, all on its own. Summer Sun leveled up. Ah, oh, finally fucking Flamethrower, my god. So it goes up from 60 power to 95 power, yes please. Summer Sun was a good Pokemon before and now it should be fantastic. Although I do like Flame Wheel as an attack. It's only at half health, but I'm going to start chucking balls. It's going to wake up soon and I want to catch it before it wakes up if I can. Although its eyes were open just then, did you see that? Catch it, 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 catch it. Wow, sleep makes much more of a difference than I thought it did. See, I never used to put Pokemon to sleep before catching them. Master Gonzap! He's making fun of my nose and glasses. You know how to work that sm snag sm smag machine. All right, I don't like admitting it, but you beat me thoroughly. Yeah. It it wasn't fun knowing you, Agrav. You were a massive prick. I was new, and you were a prick. And you know what that means, Agrav? 
that means I'm going to walk away, and the moment I leave this room, forget your name and that you ever existed. What happened to you? <sighs> you bullied me. Well, Garen, that was, um, intense. That's done now. Who was that guy? What guy? Oh, look, an email. Shadow Pokemon list. Oh shit, was Bit the outside guy? I think Bit was the outside guy, not the inside guy. Net's the guy with the in in inaudible voice. Hi, it's Net. I analyzed the Shadow Pokemon list again. It's never six more than knocked down. Flappy, I'm doing shock, old man, take a telebird, I'll be in contact. Oh, bloody hell, guy. Uh, Shuckle was the only one of those I didn't know already. My god. Oh, okay, uh, so I'm going to go to Real Gam Tower and run through that again before continuing with the story. I'll try and mop up those two I missed. While I'm on my way there, quick little story. I sat down to record this two days ago? Three days ago? I think three days ago. And uh, the controller failed to work, just completely failed to work. It would register maybe one in five button presses. I'd move around perfectly fine, but then the button presses, it just wouldn't register. So I, I don't know if that's the controller fucking up, because the controller has been, as if you've been watching this series the whole time, the controller messes up a fair bit. But I also recently upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 10, because the Windows 7 is no longer in support. And I don't like Windows 10, so I was hesitant to do it, but I finally did that. And I don't know if that's at all connected to the controller not working suddenly. I don't know. I, I'm fairly sure the controller does work on Windows 10, and it worked some of the time. But anyway, I now have a new controller. I would have got this video out for yesterday, but then the uh, the controller was lost in the delivery. As in, I got a thing from Amazon saying, this was lost by the carrier. You can either wait a few days, or you can order a new one or get a refund. So I got a refund and ordered another one. And it arrived today, and that's why I'm recording now. Other thing is that now that I'm on Windows 10, this game, this emulator, is running a lot smoother. So I don't know if you noticed during those, uh, the ridey escalator thing bits, normally they're jittery, and same with the, the travelling, the, uh, sort of going over the landscape, the cutscene it plays is normally a bit jittery. It's not jittery at all on 10. I don't know why, it is on, or was on 7, I assume the program wasn't perfectly designed for it or whatever. But yes, anyway, I've got a brand new controller. I decided to go for a proper Xbox One, whereas before was a sort of knockoff Logitech one. I say knockoff, yeah, it was highly rated. It just never performed well for me. I'm going to rush through these and try and get the Miltank and the Absol, and then I can just get on with the story, get however many are left, and uh, wrap up the series. I'm sort of tempted to use the Master Ball trick, but I am going to try and catch this mill tank legitimately. But if it fails a few times, I don't want to run through this again, because you've got to go through, like I said, all of the battles. So I'm just going to try and whittle it down, and then just throw a Master Ball if it seems like it's going to fail. Time for ball round one. Rid yourself, mill tank. Here it comes. Uh, maybe I should have made that rhyme. Catch it, 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 catch it. Yeah, mill tank's caught. All right, Absol. This has been much easier to do than I expected. I really thought this would be more of a struggle, but I guess with the higher levels and with the fact that I do have a Pokemon that can put them to sleep. There is basically no challenge in catching these guys. Okay, Absol. Catch it, 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 catch it. Wow, sleep makes so much difference. Fantastic. All right, well, I'm going to have to run through the remainder of the ending, really, which is why it's frustrating. But when I'm done, I'll continue with the story. Okay.